Hello, Mr. Ed here. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. Hello, Mr. Ed here. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. Hello, Mr. Ed here. Hello, Mr. Ed here. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. Thank you for that fine introduction you know, to all the uh, workers, volunteers of St. Joseph Woodworks. Um, today we're in uh, Jefferson, Louisiana. It's the 5th of September, 2016, Labor Day. Today we've got bees in a brick wall. I'm going to grab the camera and show you where they're coming in. Not a lot of activity at the entrance right now, but as you can see, we got a couple of guard bees inside there. It's a little better shot of the bees guarding their entrance. What this is is the gas meter is going inside of the wall, and the the bees have decided to take up resin inside the wall right there. Now I guess there's a number of ways you can uh, remove these bees. You know, first you can tear out the wall. That wouldn't be a very good option. Another one is you could um, trap them. But I don't want to take the time to do that. And then there's a third option. And that's the one I'm going to opt for. And that's to actually go inside and remove the, the sheetrock and take them out that way. So we'll get inside and I'll show you the setup of what we're doing. And with the grace of God, these girls are going to be coming back to the Abbey with me this morning. Let's go wrangle some bees. Well, here we are on the inside and uh, the homeowner, Tommy, he, in fact he's right there. Tommy Chopsley. And he's, he said he wants to stay in. He wants to see Mr. Ed in action and help out every way he can. So yeah. thank you Tommy for your help. Well, sure. We're gonna, uh, he's already cut. You can see where he's already cut some of the sheetrock. We're gonna make one more cut with a tool and then we're gonna take out the sheetrock and uh, find these bees. Here we go. Once again, uh, the unexpected. Here it is. Uh, and when I put the uh, thermal camera on it yesterday, this is where that little space where it registered where the bees were. However, what it doesn't register is where the honey is. And so all this is honey. So thankfully they started down here so I can start cutting the brood out um, before I get to that honey. And uh, Hopefully, look and find that queen. It's a lot better to have the uh, brood on the bottom than it is on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, vacuuming some of these bees, knocking the numbers down, and then uh, start cutting comb, framing it up, and uh, looking for that queen. Wow. wow! A lot more, a lot more than what I was counting on, <laughs> and a lot more honey. I got to go get some more ice chest now. I've been vacuuming now maybe about 40 minutes. Got the numbers pretty much knocked down pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out uh, comb. I'll be starting on that right hand side and, and moving over, cutting the comb and then framing it up, putting it in the box. I'm going to get Tommy to hold the camera for us. So I'm going to get busy with that.
unbelievable. I'm telling you, we were down to the last section of comb. I pulled the last section of comb out. There were a few bees on the wall. Everybody's covered with honey. And I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I look over to my right underneath the, in fact, I'll show you, it was, it was right under that piece of cross member right there. I look underneath it, and there she is just hanging on it. Oh my gosh, what a blessing that is. Because, I mean, that hive was just so big, and there was just so many bees in there to find this one bee and all that. That is truly a grace of God. So thank you, Jesus, for that blessing. Because this is a big plus for these girls. Oh my gosh, she's a she is a good layer. And I'm really happy about that. Alright, look at this. I'm telling you, we had done everything. We removed everything. There is nothing left in in that wall other than a lot of dripping honey. In fact, speaking of honey, let me see if I can get a picture of get a picture of all the honey that I pulled out of there. Yep. There it is. Probably about a half of an ice chest full. I didn't even pick it up yet. I I was pulling out chunks of there easily five and eight pounds of chunks. So I'm I'm guessing we're in that you know 40, 50 pound range in there. I'll know better in a day or two when I get that processed. I've got, uh, I would say, 99% <laughs> of the bees vacuumed. Um, if you can see outside, it's been raining for the last two hours. So I'm glad we're inside. And uh, I'm glad that we were able to vacuum all these bees from the inside instead of the outside. One, before I sign off, I want to thank all my subscribers both new and old. oh my gosh you honor me with that when I get those subs and those likes thank you very much that's all I have for you right now I thank you for watching keep on watching and I'll be making more God bless Mr. Ed me and these bees headed back up to the Abbey <laughs>